Hey, you can see when I roll this cue ball, these cushions are pretty dead. The ball almost comes to a stop. So I'm going to go ahead and replace them. First, I'll pull off the rail. Then you have the tedious job of removing all these staples. The bottom of the felt is held on with staples. The top is secured by a little rubber grommet. Easily remove that. And once you get that off, remove the leather ends. Put them somewhere safe because I'm, I'm going to use that as a template to cut my new ones. Then just pull off your cushion. And then now you're going to spend quite a bit of time cleaning the glue off your rails and prepping your surface. Then on this, with this glue, I coat both surfaces that will be glued together. And first I'll give them a good coating of glue. Let them sit for about 15 minutes with this glue. And then go ahead and put them together. I'll lightly apply it, apply the surfaces together until I know I have the perfect alignment. Then I'll apply a lot more pressure to get it to seat. And I'll let it sit for about 48, 72 hours before I start cutting it. And once it's dried a little bit, go ahead and get your straight edge. Mark where the cushion needs to be cut. And then I like a nice, sharp, serrated edge blade. And I'll just trim that off, being real delicate with it, not applying a lot of pressure, mostly just sawing it. Then I'll take my old leather end piece and I'll put it up against the uh, new leather. Go ahead and use that as my template. Cut it out. And then to trim it up, both the uh, leather and the bumper, I'll use a, a little uh, Dremel tool. Trim it. Get them edges nice and feathered. Once I have it cut perfectly, Clean the surfaces with a little alcohol. Go ahead and apply the glue. And we'll continue on with part two of this video. Thanks for watching.